starting just a couple minutes late, but that's okay. Welcome everyone. Wait for just a little bit to see who shows up and then we'll start. Good afternoon, Gail. We are going to start um, today's prayer time with a scripture and a song and a prayer, and um, that will be our day. So, <laughs> hi, Beth. Peace and blessings to you too, Lynn. I'm just going to get the prayers up, make sure I have it all together. This time I'll also remember to unmute myself <laughs> when the time comes, but that's okay. All right, we'll get started. So today we're going to start off with a scripture reading from, from the Psalms. Um, we'll probably stay there this week. Psalm 103. Hi, Jean. So Psalm 103, we're going to read the whole thing. Good afternoon, Linda. Nice to see you. All right, here we go. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. The Lord made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, as far as he as far he removes our transget our wow, as far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our trans transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass, their flourish, they flourish like flower of the field. For the wind passes over it and it, get, it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you, his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. There's a great song that, um, that I grew up hearing um, at church. 
Um, and it is from Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within it. In me, I will bless the Lord. Um, and I, I love that song so much. <laughs> and it talks about how God does great things. Um, and it just continues on. And the, the music is very beautiful. I'm actually not going to play that song. But um, one of the things that um, was a very deep connection for me um, this time around as I read the psalm um, was the beginning is like, this is, we will bless the Lord, right? And then it talks about that part. And then it goes into who God is. And um, I don't know about you, but I have often struggled with this idea of who God is, right? Um, and it's a multitude of things. We can try our best to box God in, but that's oftentimes <laughs> uh, in vain. Um, and, uh, but this part right here really speaks of God's love and mercy and grace in a way that um, I needed to be reminded of today. Um, when I'm thinking about um, how life is right now and uh, yeah, I just needed a really beautiful reminder <laughs> um, that God's justice is, is greater than ours, that God's love is greater than what we can sometimes even imagine and it's ongoing, right? Um, the mercy and grace that God gives us is ongoing. Um, so I am going to share a song with you that really spoke to me this morning. I hope it speaks to you as well. Um, and it might be, it's called Little Things with Love, but it might it might be a little longer, but it, uh, I, I hope that you, that you receive something from it. And then I'll go straight into the prayer with my mic on. Um, and yeah, so. I just wanted to say hello to my cousin and my mom and my dad. Um, they all said good afternoon <laughs> before we start the song. Let's continue on with that. Oh, the deeds for God 
Together, let us pray. God, you are merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Show us the little things we can do with great love. Let your mercy be our mercy, your grace our grace. Surround us with your tender love Keep us in these days of COVID-19. Give us wisdom in spaces of the unknown. Let your compassion be our compassion. Your love, our love. Heal us where there needs healing. Comfort us where there needs comfort. Grant us peace where there needs peace. Lift up the lowly, the marginalized, the hurting, those in need of your great love. We especially pray for Anna Lowry, Allison Linguist, Jack Lesser, Arla Hardesty, Ronnie Louie, Herb Greeb, Lynn Anderson, Margaret Falkamer, Shelley McLaughlin, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fails, Rebecca Neal, Catherine, Jeff, Felicia Culp, Jack Overton, Glenn Hardesty, Janelle Hargist, Kim Brady, Gail, 
Kelly McCarthy, Carol Brzezinski, the family and friends of Tom Waters on his death, the family and friends of Jamie Barron on his death, and anyone we might name aloud or silently in our hearts now. Now together in our own notes, in our own ways, in whatever way you can, let us pray the prayer Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all of you today. Um, I hope that you can take this with you. Remember the little things with great love that we can share um, in our lives with one another, with those we love. I'm going to try to try. Um, and also that God's love is ongoing, it's, a, it's abundant, um, and um, there is much grace and mercy for us to receive as well as to give. Um, and I hope that you experience all of that <laughs> um, at some point this week. Peace, y'all. Bye.